This is PEAK, or Polyether Ether Ketone. It's one of the strongest 3D printing materials out there. I've been putting 3D printing filaments head to head to see how they handle extreme force. Something that I do wonder is if one day I'll be able to find one that can stop a bullet. The first thing I tested was PLA and PETG, and of course when they got hit by an arrow they were completely obliterated. They were able to stop a pellet though. First up was the PLA, and it put up little resistance. Next up was the PETG, and it didn't do much better, if any, than the PLA. Next I tested polycarbonate, which is known for its impact resistance, and here's how that went. I was eventually able to hit it right on target, and it just went right through, not much issue there. Up next is the Polymaker Polymax Polycarbonate. <laughs> And it stopped the arrow dead in its tracks and sending it almost comically back in the exact same trajectory it came in on. The damage looks pretty similar to the manufactured piece where it just deformed a little but didn't crack. And the damage is kind of interesting. It's almost liquid like in the way it pushed back up and around the arrow. Now we're testing Peak. I don't have a ton of experience with this material because it's very demanding to print. I did make a socket out of Peak, which performed really well, so I'm excited to see how this goes. And here's what it did for that test it was able to remove a tire that was torqued down to 100 pound feet. Now your budget 3D printer usually maxes out around 260 degrees Celsius and your more expensive ones around 300 or 310. Peak needs to be printed at around 400 degrees Celsius. Since I don't have a printer that can print this, I had PCBWay print it for me. More on that later. I have this mannequin head here as our unfortunate test subject. Let's see if this Peak armor is able to protect it. I'll start by firing pellets at it and then move on to the bow. I actually decided to skip the BB gun this time. So let's get straight to the arrow. And I missed, because my aim kind of sucks. So, I'm going to take another shot. Let's see if I can hit Oh, no. I missed again. Sorry. Okay, this time, let's see. Do I do it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can I hit it? Yes, and it just bounced right off. It did a pretty good job. Let's take a closer look at it. And yeah, it bounced off. It doesn't look like there's any damage from here. We will take a closer look at it, but it just knocked it off the target. We got some really cool and some slightly unexpected results today. So it outperformed the cheaper polycarbonate from last time. And I thought it performed about the same as the Polymax, the more expensive polycarbonate. But upon closer look, I saw something kind of cool. Let's see if the microphone will pick it up at all. So it seems like the top layer actually separated from the next layer. The arrow going in must have forced some material out of the way, which ended up pushing the top layer apart. You can see where it's discolored a little bit. That's where it's separated from the next layer. And then from the back, you can see where the crack is. Now the arrow didn't go through, but it did leave that crack. So it worked, but not as well as the polycarbonate. The polycarbonate had no damage to the backside. In this specific situation, the polycarbonate wins. Polycarbonate is known specifically for its high impact resistance, so I wasn't sure if the Peak would do as well. I think Peak overall is a stronger 3D printing material, but in this one specific test, Polycarbonate wins. I suddenly had an idea for another test, so let's drop a sledgehammer on it. Oh, and a pretty solid hit. Let's take another look in slow motion. And it doesn't look like there's any additional damage. I did this after the arrow test where it already had a crack in it and it doesn't even look like the crack grew at all. Even though Peak's regarded as one of the strongest 3D printing materials, I wasn't completely sure it would survive the test. And I just wanted to thank PCBWay for sending this to me. I don't have a printer that can print Peak, so I had their service do it for me. It's a really easy to service. It's a really easy service to use. You just go on their website, pcbway.com, then you upload your file, then you can choose the specifications, the materials you want to use. An expert will review it before they print it and send it off to you. It arrives quickly and nicely packaged, and the print quality is very good. I was very happy with their service, and I would definitely recommend it.
I have another material that's supposedly even stronger, so I'm gonna be testing that in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see that. That's all for today. Leave a like if you liked the video. I'll link my Patreon below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.